human rights lawyer Femi Falono said on Friday that he was not involved in the newly floated political group National Consultative Forum. A communique issued in Abuja on Wednesday had stated that the political group was formed by 30 prominent Nigerian activists, professionals and academics with the aim of mobilizing Nigerians ahead of the 2023 general elections. The human rights lawyer, whose name was mentioned as part of the 30 members in a statement on Friday, said that he was never consulted on the formation of the group, nor did he attend the meeting where the forum was launched. However, commending the motivation behind the formation, the lawyer said he was in support of all efforts aimed at creating an alternative platform with the potential of lifting the long-suffering people of Nigeria from economic and political stupor. And joining us now is Ihe Chuku Ibeji, communications expert and political analyst, to have a conversation around this. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Ibeji. Thank you so much for having me as always. Now, in your view, what do you think is happening with the group? First, Ulisa Gwakoba distanced himself from the group. Now, Femi Falono, what's your thoughts? Well, I mean, I mean uh, thank you so much. Um, I think that what is happening is that this has not been well planned. It has not been properly planned, as is um, with uh, previous other groups like this that have happened uh, over time, from time to time, and have died off. Um, now, uh, there's no gain saying that it is important for us to have some sort of um, uh, strong platform that can um, provide uh, alternative uh, leadership uh, lines for us in terms of uh, uh, some kind of put the pressure on the current, um, uh, the current two parties that are currently leading in the nation. But um, what has happened from my point of view is that, is that they have not you know, planned this properly. It, these are names, these are very highly respected individuals who are supposed to add impetus, who are supposed to give um, credibility to the National Consultative Forum, uh, Con National Consultative Front, I beg your pardon. But I mean, for, for, for two highly uh, eminent personalities in that group to have come out now to disassociate themselves, I think this is a bit of a charade. I think what they should have done was she should have actually um, come out to uh, uh, consult with all the individuals um, involved. And I hope that more names don't come out to disassociate themselves from this, from this, uh, from this group, because that would just uh, gradually give it a natural debt. So I think that this has not been properly planned at all. I think that um, whoever the people are behind this group did not do it properly, and that um, they have not consulted this, uh, these names. Um, they have just gone ahead to add their names with the belief that they will flew along with the hindsight of uh, being part of such a group. Uh, they may have an, 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 a, a good it may have a good agenda, but the planning so far, the foundation is completely leaky with the, uh, with the pullouts that we're seeing from these two eminent personalities. All right, let's um, quickly clarify that uh, Falano did not say he's pulling out. He says he's in support. He just mentioned that he wasn't consulted. If we move away very slightly from that now, very quickly, many are hopeful, though, that the newly formed political group will, will be a good alternative, you know, as you've also mentioned, from the existing political platforms. Uh, what else do you think are you expecting from this group? Should it stand as we hope that it would? Well, I mean, these two gentlemen have disassociated themselves from this group. So for, 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 for this group, uh, the National Consultative Front to regain the graffitas that it used to come on board, it must go back on board for this, especially for these two names, especially for uh, uh, Femi Falano, who has uh, disassociated themselves for now for the group. They must go back uh, to the drawing board and consult properly with every single member, if they have not, get their complete buying. It must be a, it must be a, a, a you know, a, a coordinated effort, all right? And then once they get their buying, they must then have a joint communique where every single name who is involved should sign to show that they are in agreement with this front. That gives it a stronger, a stronger front. That gives the agenda um, for, for the progress of the Nigerians a, a better front. That I think in my best mind is what should be done at this point in time to, to gain that credibility and integrity back for the group. They must go back and consult anybody or everybody who's, um, who's pulled out, discuss with them properly, get an, a communique signed off by every single member to show credibility to, to the course. And then from then 
they can go ahead and um, and catch fire for the nation mm. uh, rather, and, and, and push for progress for the nation. I meant right. to say. On the other side of the divide are also those who are worried that the group has too many people, you know, and are saying, would there be clash of egos and ideas that may likely split the group? What's your thought? Every political movement has too many people. That is the, that is the burden of structure. You cannot have, um, or no, I mean, you cannot have a political movement that, 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 that mustn't have structure. You need structure in every part of the nation. Uh, for for, for political fronts and political groups in Nigeria, political parties in Nigeria, one of the strongest um, uh, points for, for, for formish, formation of such political movements is winning of elections or winning of the minds of the people. For you to win the minds of the people, you must have structures in almost every state in the nation. For you to have that, you must have prominent people who can help to establish such structures who can help to stand behind such structures. So no, you don't have the... If I, I, I would think that they need more people. Mm -hmm. I think they need more prominent, um, prominent Nigerians who have integrity and who can, of course, stand their own in their own part of their country. And because that, that structure is, uh, is highly needed in this situation. And that brings me to my last question for you, Mr. Ibeji. When you say we need more people, are you concerned that in, on that list, uh, there are not people representing, so to say, the younger generation? If you look at the names uh, that are there, what happened to young Nigerians who push also forward, who have the interests of the country at heart as well? Touched right at the core of my mind. You touched right at the core of my mind. Uh, I tell you something, um, uh, the youth demographic is one demographic that, in my opinion, has not um, largely played the kind of role that they should play um, in the affairs of the nation, in terms of politics, in terms of decision making, in terms of um, uh, uh, policy, uh, policy direction. Um, and for this group, in my opinion, for this group to sprout and spread, they need that youth demographic so deeply. Uh, yes, I agree. I think that that they need to have more of that youth demographic on this group, in this group, mm. actively represented. Both those who currently have a political structure on ground that can lend voice to this. If what we have in mind is to provide an alternative voice for the people, they need that youth demographic. Youth demographic makes makes up to more than 45, 50 percent, more than 45, 46 percent. Of a, of a, of a total um, a total uh, embodiment of voters. In fact, what am I even saying? More than fifty percent. They need that union demographic there because union demographic are the passionate uh, group, the passionate uh, mass that can help them to uh, create their structures um, and make it even much more stronger. So yes, it is very important. It bothers me, and it's something that they should tackle real quick. It's, it, it, with what has just happened now. With this dissociation that just happened, that they need to go back to the drawing board. So it gives them an opportunity to tackle these issues and tackle them holistically. Look at the youth demographics, look at the female demographics. But I feel that, and you know, this is me saying now, I think that what they have just done is to put together a steering committee. All right? So this, this, this 29, 30 members are more or less like a steering committee. There's not going to be an enlarged committee, but within the steering committee, they must have one or two names that will represent um, the youth demographic, so that when they are beginning to expand, the youth from what get go know that they are they are, they are represented in this um, in this group. I think it's a All good right. movement, but they just need to plan it um, a, a bit more, much better. All right, thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Ibeji, for your thoughts and your contributions. Do stay safe out there. Thank you so much. You too, stay safe. Thank you.